Welcome back to the Low Voltage Lowdown. And today we're going to be talking about what it takes to get into the business of installing Ethernet. What do you need to know? What skills do you need to know? What kind of tools do you might need? All sorts of questions come up about people that want to know how to get involved in the trade. We've got uh, Dave and myself here to answer those questions. Also, if you have additional questions, please put them down in the comments section where we can go ahead and respond to your questions or you can send us an email at info at truecable.com. All right, Dave, go for it. It depends on how far you want to go in the industry, probably, but finish your high school education no matter what. If you're going to get to the point where you're Bixie certified, which is the gold standard, you're going to have to be able to read at a high level, and you're going to have to be able to communicate in writing and verbally. As long as you finish your high school education, not just with the diploma, but with the skills that are supposed to go along with it, you have the formal education you need to succeed. High school with skills is good. I, I would also maybe add in that maybe some uh, community college with some CompTIA type certification classes. Uh, that gets more into the certification side, but something in the IT arena because you really want to understand like what the purpose of communications cable is and some of the underlying uh, information that you can learn prior to becoming an installer is really helpful because it helps you put like two and two together in the field, and it just makes you more effective, would be my argument. Well, the ultimate gold standard for a person who installs structured cabling, SCS, or for information communication technology, that would be Bixi certification. And Bixi is an organization that is a nonprofit organization that puts out classes and online content and all sorts of really useful information about how to do things properly according to the standard. And make no mistake, Bixi actually helps set the standard. There are some Bixi standards that are out there that are part of the NCTIA standard. So I would recommend that you seek Bixi certification. Start with INST1. It is a non-renewable certification. It's good for, I believe, someone correct me if I'm wrong, five years. And that's aimed at a generalized overview of coaxial fiber, copper, and some of the generalized concepts around it. But you get hands-on in the training too. It's a week-long virtual course and there's also instructor-led courses. Then once you get your certification there, the next thing you'd want to move to, if you're on the copper side especially, is the INSTC, uh, the copper certification. And that gets much more in depth and starts talking about bonding and grounding and, and how, to, how to properly construct a telecommunications room. And then if you are more on the fiber side of things, there's the INSTF certification, which talks all about handling princess cable, uh, I like to call it. Basically, it's a fiber optic cable, uh, real thin, high-speed stuff. And they talk about how to test it properly, how to put, how to hand terminate connectors. And if you want the ultimate installer certification, that would be the TECH, T-E-C-H certification. That includes basically copper, fiber, and certification testing all at once. In addition to that, if you are required to use a Fluke DSX 8000 in the field, that being a certification device or some similar certification device, it is part of the standard that you're required to take a industry certified and approved course to use that certification device. So in my case, I actually have formal certification to use a Fluke DSX-8000. That's actually required. So that would be another thing that you'd want to go for. And that, in my case, would be the CCTT certification. That is the Fluke Networks Certified Cable Test Technician. And just and you can get it aimed at copper or fiber or both. There's, so there's a, a plethora of information out there that you can also read online, although I want to caution you about uh, information online. Information online stays online, as many poor unfortunates have discovered over time for various reasons. And the, the problem is, is that information, especially when it comes to information technology, gets out of date. 
And there's also anecdotal information out there that may not be totally accurate. There's personally uh, held uh, beliefs around like some of, some, how some of the stuff should be done. But there really is an actual right way and an actual wrong way. And there's not that many gray areas. So Bixie certification, mm -hmm. that's what you should go for first. I, I will add, you have a Bixie certification, you're guaranteed employment in the industry. But you have to have a couple of years of experience before you can even sit for a Bixie exam. So how do you get that experience? Well, if you're brand new, go to the OSHA website and get your 10-hour OSHA safety certification. At this time, it costs a little bit less than 100 bucks, and it's a good investment because if you go to work for a contractor or, or somebody else who does this kind of installation work, chances are they're going to send you to a site where OSHA 10-hour safety certification is required to even be there. What that means is if you show up to a job interview with your OSHA certification in hand, an employer can put you on the job site this afternoon, even if it's just to pick up trash. And then you're on your way. You're, you're surrounded by people who have the knowledge you need, and you're on the site. If you don't show up to that first interview with your OSHA 10-hour safety uh, certification, then if that contractor is going to hire you, he has to find out a way to motivate you to take it, he has to give you time to take it. He has to pay you for that time to take it. And he has to pay for the certification itself. You're a much more employable person if you show up with that in your hand. I'm going to say, and I know Dave's going to want to add, I'm going to say that you, if you go to the Bixie website, there's many installers that are listed on their website. And you can, you can locate them by geography, you know, uh, where you're at. And just pick up the phone and start calling, yeah. uh, sending emails. I'm, I'm old school, so I'm, I'm the kind of person that will want to call. But, you know, if email is your thing, I think they have their emails listed, too, because they're all looking to sell their services. So that's probably a great way of getting into employment. So the Bixie website's one source. And tell people that you're going to be in this industry and you need to get started. Tell them what your goals are. Employers want to hire people who want to do this work. They don't, they're not looking for people who are here by default or are settling. And, and so if you approach people with goals and, and are able to show that you're serious, they're looking for you. They're not just going to give you a job, they're going to want to hire you. Well, I would say none. Uh, most of the tools that you're going to be I mean, it's helpful to get experience with some tools, but your employer is going to most likely supply you with the tools that you need in order to become successful on the job. Or if they don't provide it to you directly, they'll tell you what you're going to have to have. A lot of times the employer will dictate what you, what you need. And maybe even the contract with the customer may, might also dictate what you're going to need. So I would say don't buy anything until you are certain that this is for you, uh, because some of the tools can be pricey. If you take the Bixie classes, they'll actually tell you what tools you'll need to go buy, or they'll provide you with some tools too, because they ship it in a box. But I would say you don't really need any tools, so to speak, but you should be familiar with how to use some of them. That would be helpful. Right, I, I wouldn't go out and stock up on tools in order to look for a job in the industry but you're gonna be using screwdrivers, pliers, wire cutters, scissors, things like that. Some of the stuff you probably already have if you're a technically minded person. Take her away, Dave. I think you have to get hired before you can get experience. There you go, that's the answer to that question. Basically, just be persistent about getting into an employer, and that's how many years you're gonna get is experience. And as opportunities come up to improve your certification status through Bixie and other organizations too, then you're going to be able to move up the ladder. It's endless, uh, the amount of uh, certifications and opportunities and avenues you can take in this industry. It's a work your way up type of thing. Just like most other careers, you know, you're not going to hit pay dirt instantly. You're going to have to put your hours in. And that's why I'd like to bring up another thing is that, you know, Dave and I, we, 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 we talk about installation, we talk about testing, we can still do it, we wired this building. But 
there's a certain point where all that lifting and uh, physical work starts to, you know, potentially get to you. So you're going to want to definitely plan your way out of the installer part, I think. And also I would recommend that you be in relatively good physical shape because there is a tremendous amount of ladder work. There's a tremendous amount of safety harnesses and humping around spools of cable and pulling. So you, you're going to need to be in relatively good physical condition. That, that would be my recommendation. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for attending our podcast, and we enjoyed having you. Please uh, send us messages, leave us comments. We would love to hear any feedback you have. And if you have some more topics that we could cover for you, we would like to hear about that too. Visit our website at truecable.com. We have a cable academy. And that, by the way, is a great way of perhaps getting a start on your career by learning information on our website. You've got many years of experience here between Dave and I that we have been just brain dumping into our cable academy on video and on Britain blogs. Take advantage of it. It's free. All right, so you have a great day. Happy networking.